That's what I'm hoping. I should get down and walk. She got sick, then died Won't in Won't find night. better wares. She was old, but... <laughs> Would you like to buy something today? The sun Welcome to the Citadel, Aloy. I'll check back with you in a moment. In the meantime, circulate. Outlanders! If you want to hear about today's bounties, head for the throne room. You're not going to make any shards by standing out here. Mercenary bottom feeders. I'll take the shards. Even if it means having to listen to Bahamas. I hear the Shadow Conjure are looking for one of their own. Should pay well. By the glory of the sun revealed. Behold, radiant Edaman. The one true Sun King, the light in shadow, whose will is light and whose light is law! I command Lucian Bahavas to speak on my behalf. By the will of Radiant Edaman does the sun glare down mercilessly upon the traitor Uthid. To the hunter who brings his head to us shall go a bounty of 500 shards. More prisoners than royalty, don't you think? Mm. Love your hair. You and I need to chat, little huntress. The green tent down in Shadowside? I'll be waiting. Kind of busy. We both know you're no killer for hire. Uthid is innocent. So come see me while there's still time to save him. So, the way in I spoke of is right behind you. You've got to be kidding. Not at all. And you needn't worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. 
First time in the Citadel, gotta see the sun ring from on high. Oh, the Kestrels. Ah, they want us disappears. to see this, this is boy. Insane. It makes quite oh, a threat. Faithful out of They're going to see me. You underestimate the ease of hiding in plain sight. The balustrade. It's a short drop from there. Other side of the tower. Look for a vent. I see you've been here before. Obviously. Now, it's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. <sighs> I've shown you the way in, but this humble vent marks a point of no return. Before you descend into the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. No distractions. If you have errands to run, do them first or hold your peace. I won't tolerate whining. Is that clear? You'll tolerate what I give you, Silence. I didn't ask you along for the ride. I'm heading down. I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world where the machines came from, how the old ones achieved such marvels only to fall into silence and death, a lifetime of failure, as year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until a Nora Huntress marched out of the savage east, and voila, for her, all the deepest secrets of the earth were laid bare. I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Hold for identity scan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Malfunction. 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 Are you kidding me? You don't hear me laughing. Shut up. There's gotta be another way. Hey! Elizabeth Sobek here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? I do! Get me through this door! Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Emergency venting authorized. everything that will draw attention we won't have this place to ourselves for long now we last i checked i was the one whisking my life down here yes fine now will you please get moving there's so much to learn in less time than i'd hoped welcome to project zero dawn Zero Dawn. We found it. Are you really so surprised? Facility diagnostics detect multiple failures. Attempting repair. So, what was this room? An entrance hall, perhaps. Have a look around. Need them soon enough. Please take a seat and wait for your name to be called. A selection of beverages and snacks are available. My smaller room. Please proceed into viewing room one for an important message regarding the purpose. What was this place? A holographic theater. 
DB01 data intact. Initiating playback. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. I am General Harris, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors that Zero Dawn is a top secret super weapons program. The technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague if Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them. And they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super weapons program. And it will not save us. Nothing will save us. Here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. At best, we've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? One reason. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of Zero Dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris, out. That doesn't make sense. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. He said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow... Somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. Kestrels. They got in. Through the vents. Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. Spread out! If it moves, kill it! What is this place? Two? No monstrous dark... This girl. She's coming for us! Steady. 
Spread out! If it moves, kill it! What is this place? Tomb? They know I'm here now. I've heard the bad news, and it's all true. The Pharaoh Plague is devouring the biosphere. Life itself will cease to exist. But does that have to be the end? What if we could give life a future? What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew? This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn to create a super-intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? 
At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about and build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas, to the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stalks, to rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings, spawned at cradle facilities around the globe, will partake of Apollo. The vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world. And most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. So, the whole earth destroyed, but then remade? Yes. By a machine. A machine of creation. Elizabeth did this. For life. For us. But... Why Hades, then? If it was part of Gaia, how did it end up in the wreckage of a pharaoh robot? And why does it want to kill me? And... Apollo... The Archive of Knowledge, what happened to that? I'm as confused as you are. Maybe the answers lie ahead. Intruder! Get her! Get over here! Please. He's coming! Don't die now.
Intruder! Get her! Whatever you do, don't die now. down. Is there another route? I've done this before. Just need my focus. Here we go. Another one of these. Need to find the right configuration. Hey, part I'm done with Brett's Maybe incompetence, okay? Somehow, he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker out. Should check the door nearby.
found one. Looks intact.
That did it. Door should have power. Now to see what lies beyond it. Eclipse. They're here. Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia. It's up there. Second floor. Can you reach it? So much for avoiding contact.
Or not. to find Gaia. Shen, and this is Hephaestus. As the name might tip you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. Her personal forge. Except, it's not that simple. Um, so like, you probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. The rest, experts in machine cognition, virtual heuristics, that stuff. Well, that's because we aren't going to be the ones designing and building robots. The last thing we want is to burden Gaia with a bunch of outmoded 21st century designs. Waste of time. Our purpose is to empower Gaia to build the robots. And not just build, imagine, from scratch. Any robot she needs for any conceivable purpose, designed and fabricated at a snap of a finger. Hers. Her finger. So, Hephaestus isn't really the forge. It's more like the knowledge of craft and ingenuity of a master smith to wield the hammer. Encoded as software. Virtual creativity made real. Gaia's already learning. In simulation, she's doing some very creative things with fractal assembly and animal morphologies. Her designs aren't about to win the Liam Prize anytime soon, but hey, everyone has to start somewhere. So, yes, time to get started. Let's do this. I don't get it. Which part? It's a little technical in places. If Gaia was designed to save life, why would the robots it makes attack people? Perhaps it loves some forms of life more than others. The derangement. The machines weren't always so angry. True. Mostly they were docile until 10, 15 years ago. For years, Hephaestus has been forcing cauldrons to make aggressive machines. I've seen it myself, in the cauldrons. These shapes... I've seen them before. In a cauldron. You've been inside a cauldron? An abandoned one, yes. So, the cauldrons... They belong to Gaia? It would appear so. The birthing places of her machines. I think this is it. Elizabeth Sobek's office. But it, it's sealed off. There's more eclipse. K. 
careful now. <laughs> 